Hey, what's happening guys? So previously I showed how to dockerize a node API and why you would want to do that. Now I'm going to take it one step further and show how and why you should use Docker Compose to start apps that might use more than one service or even actually apps that use one service. Uh, Docker Compose is a really handy tool. I'm cool. yeah. So first off, why do you need Docker Compose? And Docker Compose helps when you have lots of di different containers that need to be started with different configurations in them. It just helps you put all that configuration into one file. So here's an example. Here's a Node.js app that I've made. It basically connects to a MySQL database when you hit this connect route. Then it creates a table afterwards, which um, creates a numbers table and then when you go to the insert route, it inserts a random number into that table. And when you go to the fetch route, it fetches the number we just inserted, a very handy application. So how would you start this using Docker normally? Well, without Docker Compose. Well, if we go into the readme, I've laid it out here. So first off, we need to build our Node API version one image. And that builds this Docker file into an image. And this is what I went through in my last video. Then what we need to do is we actually need to create a Docker network. Um, and I called this network Node API Network. And the reason we need this network is because we need our MySQL container to be able to talk to our Node API container without having to expose any ports publicly. So then we need to start our MySQL server. To do that, I'm using the Docker run command, which runs a container based on an image. And the image I'm using is MySQL version 8.0. And I got this image off of Docker Hub um, and it's tagged with 8.0. So that's where I got that. Then I pass through the dash dash rm command. What this does is it removes the container once we stopped it. The hyphen D argument, what that does is it detaches to, from our container once we start it to allow us to use the terminal again. Then I pass through a name of MySQL server and this MySQL server name is used as the host name because we're running these two services in the same network. Then I pass through these environment variables. So I got these environment variables from the Docker Hub readme here and what these environment variables are, they one is the name of the database, one is the name of the user, the password of the user, and then the password of the root user. Then I tell this container that it must be part of this Node API network. Cool, and that's how we start the MySQL server. Then to start the Node API, it's very similar. We pass through the RM argument to remove the container once we stopped it, the name, I gave it the name of Node app so that when we stop, that we can just use stop Node app instead of looking up the ID. Then the network, I joined it to the same network as the MySQL server. And then I passed through the ports 3000. So I'm mapping our local host port 3000 to the containers port 3000. And I also pass through this volume command, which says this present working directory that we're in here should be mapped to the internal app directory of the container. And then the image we're using is this node API v1 image, which we built here using our Docker file here. Cool. So after running all of that, we'll have our app started and then we can stop it using these two commands. So this is how we run this normally without using Docker Compose. To use Docker Compose, we can start this app by running Docker Compose up. And when we finish using it, we can run Docker Compose down to shut down the containers. It's clear which way is a bit more user friendly for this project. So let's start by creating our Docker Compose um, config. So I'm going to create a new file here. I'm going to call it docker compose.yaml and this is a file name that docker compose understands itself so the first thing we need to do is pass through a version here and i'm going to use docker compose version 3.8 and then we need to declare our services so our services will be our app which is our node api then we'll need to say what image this uh, app service is based off of so i'm going to pass through the build field here and build takes a context as well as a docker file the context will be this directory and the Docker file is our Docker file here, which is just called Docker file. And that will turn our image into a running container for us. Then if we go back here to our readme, then we can also see that we need to map our ports. So if we go to Docker compose, we can just pass through the ports key and we need to map 3000 on our local machine to port 3000 in the container. 
then we need to also map our volumes so our volumes will be mapped as our current directory with the app directory and we also need to pass through this anonymous volume here that's in our docker file and what this does is it basically says use the node modules folder that's inside the container and ignored the node modules folder inside of our local directory because we don't have one in our local directory because node modules are being installed, installed inside of the container. And then we don't need to add the network key because automatically when you use Docker Compose, um, Docker Compose creates a network for all your services. So they all run in the same network. And we don't need to pass the name because this is gonna be used as our container name. Cool, so now we have that, let's start our MySQL server. So I'm gonna give it the name of MySQL server. And like I said, this name is gonna be the name used as our host. And because we're not building this image, we can just use the image field directly. That's gonna be this image here that I've taken straight from Docker Hub. And if we go back here, we can see that we don't need this command. We don't need this command. We don't need this command. We do need our environment variables though. So to use these environment variables, we need to pass the environment key and I'm going to paste these here and I'm just going to clean it up. So then this becomes a list of key values. And then I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need all of this. Cool. And you can see here, I started MySQL first, and that's because Node API actually requires MySQL to run. So what I can do here is I can just add the depends on field, and this will just take the name of a service. So every time we start app now, it's gonna run, it will look at this, see it depends on MySQL server and also start MySQL server. So we can save this and that is it. We've created our config and we should just be able to run our application. So now we can run this app by using Docker Compose. And if we run Docker Compose up, it'll start our app. And I wanna show you here, you can see it's creating a network for us. Then it's creating our MySQL server, and then it's creating our app. Awesome. And then we can see it's listening on port 3000. So everything should have started. If I refresh this, cool. We get hello world back. If we go to connect, we can see we can connect to MySQL. If we go to create table, we can see we've created our numbers table. Then if we insert, we can just do this a bunch of times. We can see we've inserted numbers into our table. And if we fetch, cool, we can see we have all the numbers that we created into from our table. And to stop our services, we can just press control C here. This stops the services. We can see we stop them. And now none of this should run. Everything should just say can't be reached. And then if we go docker compose down, it removes those containers. And that's it. That's how to use docker compose. Cheers guys.